Hello and welcome to the Listening Posts unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing a brand new power unit from Isotec, the Polaris V5. Now I'm a big fan of what power cabling and power boards do to a hi-fi system and was hugely enamoured by the uh, Polaris Evo 3, or, or version 3 of the Polaris power board. It's a nice, nuggety, uh, six-way sort of power board. This is an evolution. It's a big enough evolution that they haven't bothered with version 4. They've gone straight to a version 5. And uh, with that, they've added nine times more, more differential mode filtration, lower resistance of all of the internal componentry and 35 dB of RFI um, cancellation. The product also now ships with a, a traditional IEC power cord. Their boards used to be in a relatively small package and it was the board itself. And you would purchase, or you would either utilize a decent IEC or you'd purchase one of their uh, power cables to go from the wall into the unit. So this not only is it significantly better, but you get yourself a free power cable, so that's absolutely awesome. So, let's have a quick look. Firstly, the packaging. Kind of boring, really. All we've got is an implication of the plug type that we'll see, which of course is Australia and New Zealand, uh, the V5 Polaris, and a basic information on the serial number. Okay, that's emulated on both ends opening any package like this, it's just taped closed, so very, very straightforward. The product itself is held in place with closed cell foam, protecting it in transit. The board pulls out very, very easily, and again is held in place with a couple of end caps of closed cell foam. Just putting that off to one side. We see another layer of closed cell foam until we see the accessories that the unit comes with. Now this is kind of cool. Firstly, it comes with a couple of things that you can screw into the end uh, and allow it to be wall mounted. And that process is really, really easy. So it can sit behind something if required or up high for whatever purpose you might need it for. It's complemented with a couple of uh, expansion wall plugs and some rubber uh, bump-ons uh, should it be sitting on some sort of furniture piece. And the little screws associated with taking those brackets and mounting them to the unit itself. Okay. And then in the bottom, which is got at by removing the last, cell, uh, last piece of closed cell foam, is the IEC power cord. Now this alone is excellent to see as far as its value added that they've done. This is the um, Initium power cable, their entry level product. It's actually pretty good and has got huge reviews as far as what hi-fi and things like that. It's a very, very credible basic upgrade cable. And again, it's here free nowadays. Concentrating on the unit, there's a lovely cloth bag. And as we slide this out, you'll get to see for the first time just how much attention to detail they've had from the construction perspective. It's beautiful, made from uh, extruded aluminium. There are large sort of hex or security bolts holding it all together. It's got a lovely weight to it. It's clearly been well built. And again, there's the six outlets that I alluded to. What they've added is, is a centralized uh, tricolor LED. And we've got the Isotec V5 Polaris and a bit of information as far as its maximum overload of 10 amps. And it's 230 volts. What they've added to this new version 5, which was not in the previous one, is a couple of things. Firstly, a little rocker switch, enabling you to be able to switch things on and off at one end. And of course, a fused IEC power socket. Now, all of these are star ground, so the earth configuration is wired very uh, firmly to ground, rather than the, a, a traditional sort of soldered board with everything sort of soldered to, where the ground and ground potential is potentially affected by the, the fact that they're all interlinked. These are all individually wired back to ground. Um, the second thing that we see is one of these. Now this is a Nutrex connector. Um, it, it's, an, it's an interconnecting connector, uh, kind of unique to Isotec. It enables you to expand upon this if required with an additional piece of equipment. So gone are the days of you know, perhaps buying that extra piece of hi-fi and running out of power points. 
you can actually buy an additional product, whether it be, whether it be the little Gemini V5 or one of the larger products like the Corvus or anything like that and, and start daisy chaining them together. So one power outlet can serve as six, another six, eight, however many of the configuration might be as you start to daisy chain them together. The product itself has 45,000 amps protection as far as lightning and other things like that. Um, and internally everything is silver clad copper wiring and stuff as well. So from a quality of delivery perspective, it's stunning. It also added again all of that filtration, but in the Polaris, each individual bank is now also separately filtered to ensure that any noise generated from the componentry plugged into it is eliminated and not transferred to others. So there we have it, the Polaris version 5 or V5 Polaris from Isotech, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. Hello. Now just to kind of add a little bit of intrigue and to prove that really nobody hangs around right to the end of my unboxing videos, I've got a bit of a giveaway. I hope everybody understands how much I hate Bluetooth turntables and either there or there somebody should put a link to how best set up a Bluetooth turntable. Nevertheless, I've got a giveaway. I've got two t-shirts saying, actually there will be a photograph, what criminal penalty should there be inflicted on those who choose to play vinyl via Bluetooth on a soundbar? I've got two of these t-shirts. The first person to comment t-shirt and then a colour preference between blue and red, I will send that t-shirt to them free of charge anywhere in the world. Everybody else that comments t-shirt I will put you in the drawer for the alternative colour that the first person doesn't want. So there we have it. I hope you enjoy all of our unboxing videos. I hope you share and follow the link on how to set up a Bluetooth turntable as best. And good luck with those that want to go into the drawer for a free t-shirt.